Okay, here's a little diagram that depicts the situation. The light pole, 15 feet high. This boy, five feet tall, is walking away from the pole. And we're told that that rate is five feet per second, which we represent by dx dt. What we need is to find a relationship between x and y, and y is the length of the shadow. So, we have similar triangles. Uh, we have two right angles, and we have a common angle here or a common angle here. By angle, angle, this big right triangle is similar to this little one out at the tip. Uh, so, corresponding sides are in proportion. So, one way to set it up is to say that x plus y which is the length of this big leg, is to its long leg as this leg is to its other leg. And then if we kind of uh, cross multiply and get the common terms on the same side, this is what we end up with. We could also divide through by 5 right now. Either way, that depicts the, the relationship between x and y. And so here's an implicitly defined relation. We can take the derivative with respect to t. So the derivative of x with respect to t is dx dt. The derivative of y with respect to t is dy dt. We want to solve for dy dt given that dx dt is 5 feet. Per second. And notice that this really has nothing to do with anything because the rates are the same regardless of his position or his distance from the pole. So dy dt is how fast the length of his shadow is changing, which is five halves or two and a half feet per second. Now, the tip of the shadow is really this distance right here. How fast is that changing? Well, you could say that the tip of the shadow equals is s equals x plus y. And if we take the derivative with respect to t, ds dt equals dx dt plus dy dt. And so to get how fast the tip of the shadow is moving, we just add these two together. So 7.5 feet per second. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.